Yeah, it was certainly an interesting period. Obviously, uh, new coach uh, coming on board, so um, you know, Pikey needs to be able to um, implement his game plan and, and educate that through uh, the pre-Christmas period. So it's a bit of a balancing act with uh, only having the, the five plus year guys here for three weeks. So we just got to balance, um, making sure we still get some work in, um, but also allow the, you know, enough time to be able to educate the uh, the game plan as well. We obviously had some some off-season surgery um, with a couple of guys, and, and also some guys that needed uh, you know some, a good rest over that period as well. Matty Yance is going uh, pretty well with his rehab, obviously working with Duncan Kellaway, so um, you know, he'll be uh, in a modified program for the majority of pre-season and then uh, obviously looking for him to play uh, games around that 12 month mark, so uh, obviously that'll be dictated to by the surgeon, so um, yeah, we'll see how that travels. Brad Kratz is progressing well, so um, he'll be on a modified program uh, pre-Christmas and then uh, we'll assess how, how he's going with that and, um, and look forward to him uh, being available for round one. Cam as the element's going, going pretty well. He had uh, finger surgery uh, around about uh, a month ago, so yeah, that won't uh, restrict him from any of the running loads, so he'll be fine there. It'll just be the, the contact and, uh, and the ball work, so um, you know, majority of pre-season he'll be able to complete as well. VB's uh, had that uh, that shoulder surgery, so um, he'll be uh, non-contact until uh, after Christmas. But uh, again, his his running loads will be fine, so he'll be able to do most of the running and uh, um, and the non-contact skills. But uh, he'll be available for round one. Uh, Big Source had uh, had his elbow surgery um, around about a month ago, so he's uh, yeah he's tracking along really well with that. So he'll be non-contact uh, before Christmas, but uh, still be able to do the ball work and all the running. Troy's had that hip hop, and he's travelling along really well with that. So uh, we're expecting him to be in a modified setting for the first few weeks. And, and then hopefully join uh, full training through uh, through December. All the boys said it's a gruelling time. Four months worth of pre-season is not easy. Yeah, he's going really well. He's uh, obviously uh, you know it's a, a new game for him. He's been used to the basketball, so a lot of a lot of short efforts. So uh, we've certainly been working on his uh, aerobic capacity. So looking forward to him starting with the with the group next Monday. Alex has been uh, flowing through the place, which has been good. Obviously juggling uh, his cricket commitments um, with his football at the moment. So you know it's uh, imperative that we just um, balance up that. Uh, obviously his focus at the moment is cricket, but but um, you know, trying to get a, a little bit of work into him, but just balancing uh, the cricket to make sure that we uh, you know, keep him healthy and, and fit. Yeah, obviously with the interchange cap, it's a, you know, a reduction of about 25%, so it's a 30-year you know, less rotation. So um, the impact on that on the game will be guys will have to stay out there longer uh, until they can get a rotation. So you know, with midfielders, they'll probably spend you know, 12 to 14 minutes uh, each rotation rather than the eight to 10 minutes. So um, you know, clearly that makes the game more aerobic and they need to be able to sustain their efforts for, for a longer period. So, um, you know, the pre-season will change a little bit and a bit more of a shift to, to aerobic uh, capacity. Um, but yeah, no, no massive changes.